Good morning and welcome to the Modern Skein podcast. My name is Sharon Graff and I'm the owner of the Modern Skein, which is a yarn shop here in Montgomery, Texas. This is episode 59. Thank you so much for tuning in and continuing to subscribe and watch the podcast. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. And if you're new to us, we welcome you. Everyone is welcome both in the shop and here on this channel and our general space of awesomeness, as we like to think of it. And I just welcome you to join in and participate in all the fun, awesome stuff we have going on, both virtually, on Instagram, Facebook, Ravelry. We're getting better with Ravelry. Um, I am not the best at Ravelry messages. You can ask pretty much anyone here in the shop. Um, but I do have people, not me, I have people that help moderate our Ravelry group. So they can definitely help you out for sure. But I'm always on Instagram and uh, Facebook as well. I'm not on Facebook as much, but you can get a hold of us. That's what I'm trying to say. And I thank you for tuning in and bearing with me on this Friday morning. I was up late last night, did not get a great night's sleep caffeinating with my modern skein mug. I mean, there's coffee in the mug, not just an empty mug. That would be so sad. <sighs> At least it's a pretty sunshiny day again, which has been so good. I just wish it wasn't freezing outside so I could actually go outside and like sit in some sunshine. I just want to eat outside. I want to eat al fresco and knit al fresco. That's what I want. I want to do that. Do you guys want to do that? Because I think that would be so awesome. Like, there's not a lot of places to eat outdoors around here, but yeah, that's what I want. The weather's not cooperating, and apparently it's supposed to rain for the next three or four days. <sighs> anyway, maybe this afternoon. It's supposed to get hot again, or warmer. We'll see. This is not a weather podcast. This is a knitting and crochet and yarn and yarn shop podcast. So anyway, very, very long intro today to say thank you for tuning in. And if you're not a subscriber, I would hope that this long intro did not deter you. It is definitely people ask or have said, you seem so authentic on the podcast. It's like, well, I hope so because... I don't edit, and this is pretty much the same person you're going to see when you walk into the shop, or if you bump into me in the grocery store, I might be more tired and less chatty in the grocery store, depending on the day, but this is me, quirks and all. Um, where was I going with that? No. Oh. Subscribe to the podcast, won't you? <laughs> and get some more of these shenanigans. Anyway, let me move over here and grab my... Um, yes, so subscribe to the podcast if you're not. If you are, but you're not getting notifications when we upload, then you can hit the little bell down somewhere around here, and that will get you notifications. And I do thank each and every one of you guys to... Who? To... Who give likes both on on here gives the thumb up I'm probably not getting thumbs up right now give, give thumbs up here give likes on our Instagram and Facebook because that really does you know it's a small it's a small thing that that you guys can do that doesn't cost you anything to to heart something on Instagram or like a Facebook post but really it does do a lot of good um because I don't pay for a lot of um, advertising. So all of my advertising, it gets boosted because the more likes and followers and things like that I have genuinely shows to all of these places, Facebook, Instagram, everything that I'm a legitimate business. And so it starts sharing the posts more 
um, to more people and to a broader audience. So the more that you guys can help out by by giving a little social media love, um, it really does help everyone in the long run. So anyway, that was a very la 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 la. Let's move on to finished objects, which I have one, which if you've been in the shop the past two days, you probably noticed that I was wearing the same outfit for two days in a row. Don't worry. It was a sweater. It's fine. It's merino wool. Look at that. Mm, so cozy. For two days that it was freezing. So this is my Kova sweater. It is completely done. All the ends are woven in, like trimmed everything. And now I have the hiccups. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm okay. So this is Kova, Kovia, Kova. This has been however many weeks it's been taking me um, a journey of trying to figure out how to pronounce the name of this sweater. But I'm settling on Kovia, and I'm probably completely wrong. But this is a sweater by Caitlin Hunter. And it is like overall color work, worsted weight, and I knit mine up in the Leading Men Fiber Arts non super wash worsted weight, which we had for a truck show in January. So if you got some of that and you're not sure what you want to do with it, this is a great sweater you can do. Plus, there's lots of awesome color work cowls and things like that if maybe you only got one or two skeins um, and don't have a project in mind. That would be great for that yarn as well. So, finished object. So glad this and my cumulus blouse, which I showed you last week, are completed. It just was kind of like a weight off of me. I don't know why. They weren't hanging around that long. Um, I think I was just, like I said a couple times ago, I was in a little bit of a knitting funk and I wanted new fresh things on my needles. And so I did go ahead and cast those on and now I'm excited because I get to work on them more. Well, I still have the plumpy to finish, and I'm getting really, really, really close. I'm on section 7, I think. And to my knowledge, there's only 8 or maybe 9 sections, so I'm really close. Let me show you that one. Need that. Okay. And, of course, I'm in the middle of a row. Because it wouldn't be a podcast without that. Okay. I have so much stuff in this bag that's not even knitting related. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a bottle of Advil or a bottle of gum or something rattling around in there. Okay. So, this is like terrible. It's not even like in a good middle of the row. But you can see the progress. That's the wrong side. You can see the progress being made. So I'm on this section where you stripe garter stitch um, these last two colors. So I've stopped increasing on this side and it's slowly decreasing. And you can see so I'm back using this first color, the teal and the gold, which is kelp by um, Hedgehog. So the colors in here are, it's all Hedgehog Merino DK, which we're going to be getting a restock soon. It is, there's a long wait for Hedgehog right now. So um, my order's in and we're just waiting for the shipment. So if you were... If you'd, I had a couple people that asked for some special requests. Um, those are ordered and they will be coming in, but it will be, gosh, probably another s seven, eight weeks, I'm being told. So just bear with me. Um, good news is once it ships, um, Hedgehog is really good and Customs is really good about getting their shipments to me ASAP. So we should not have to wait too long once it's shipped. So colors real quick. Yeah, I just had to double check. This is Dew, which we still have quite a bit of Dew in stock in the Merino DK. Then this gold color, show you on the wrong side, you can see it a little better. It's like a green gold, see that? That's kelp, and I'm, I still have that, actually. This is the color we're out of stock of. Uh, 
this is Bridget. Um, Bridget, Bridget is coming back. So we're getting that one. And then this one, oh gosh, what's the name of this one? It's not Lucky Penny. It's, it looks kind of like it would be, but it's not. It's, oh yeah. So this color is clay, like red clay. Here, we have in Texas. So those are, whoops. Those are my colors for my plumpy. It just takes four colors, um, four skein or one skein of each color except for your background color. So for me, that's the kelp. So I use that. If you look on the back side, you can see it's dominant on the back side. Um, and so that color you need two skeins of. Now I will say my clay. I played yarn chicken, and I technically ran out five stitches from the end. However, the Bridget, I had a, I had some of that left, so I literally just used that to finish the row. You can't really tell because it was literally like the last five stitches. So just warning you, if you do, um, sorry, there's something in my eye, not an eyeball. Haha. <laughs> I mean, I do have an eyeball in my eye, but it's not. Um, anyway, uh, just beware if you are using maybe a skein that you have in your stash, but you used a little bit of, you might not have enough, um, uh, yarn. That was very distracting. Um, apologize for that. So anyway, um, yes. Where was I going with this? So anyway, we do have quite a few hedgehog colors um, in the Merino DK in stock. Plenty for plumpy shawls. We even have a few that are sweater weight quantities. So if you're looking for that, we definitely can stock you up on that. And again, of course, we will be getting more when the shipment arrives. Um, you don't have to use hedgehog DK. You can use any of our DK. We have a ton of Chelsea Lux. We still have some colors of Suburban Stitcher. We have some of the modern skein label. We have some Ching uh, Merino DK actually. Those colors would be really pretty. Let me show you this real quick. In the Ching, this would be gorgeous. Look at this combo. So this would be your background main color, and then these three, that would be so pretty. I think that'd be gorgeous. That would be a fun one, and if you wanted to do, it's right not committing. Let me show you like a really springtime plumpy shawl. Plumpy shawl does have brioche. It's very easy brioche, because you're just, I won't say it's very easy. I mean, it's brioche. So if you are familiar with brioche increases and decreases, it's great. If you're um, unsure about brioche increases and decreases, you can always come into the shop. I'll be happy to show you how. Uh, Julie also knows brioche and so does Grace. So any three of us can help you out with brioche stitches. Oh, Heather does brioche too. So she can help you out as well. Um, all of us do brioche. Any of us can help you out. Long story short. Let me show you real quick some fun, a springtime one, because I think this would be so fun. So this as your background color, and then these three as your main. How fun and springy would that be? But not like Easter eggy, just nice, fun, vibrant, springy. I think that would be pretty.
you could also do this. That is your background color, and then these. That'd be fun, too. Okay, I'm going to stop playing with yarn and get back to the podcast. So I showed you the plumpy. Then the other one I worked on was my Veronica. So Veronica, I'm knitting out of Josh's uh, Red Stag Fiber, the BFL DK, which is called Croft DK. Okay, I'm out in the middle of a row. I just want to show you the progress that I made on it. So I think this is more progress than last episode. Ta-da! So you can really start to kind of see the shape. And you can see the drape of this is just so nice because my gauge is looser than the pattern called for. But you can really still see the texture. It's kind of blowing out on camera. But um, I'm so excited for this one. So this is kind of my, um, I'll say my easy going, my social knitting, because I'm at a point where it's just knit for so many inches um, in the pattern established. Oh my gosh, it's like there's something poking me in my eyeball. Um, so it's very easy car knitting. Uh, oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. Okay, there we go car knitting or event knitting, things like that, because like I said, the pattern is super repetitive right now, and I have basically memorized, and I don't have to do increases or decreases or anything like that right now at the moment. So I'm going, uh, the color that I use there is Welsh Mantle, no it's not, Welsh Slate, um, however, after I get I've already used, I'm on my second ball, or second skein. I think once I finish the second skein, I'm going to look and see where I am in the pattern, and as long as I'm over halfway, um, then I'm going to use a skein of Castle Rock, which will be a nice, like, contrasting light gray stripe in there, and I think it's going to be just really fun. Um, let's see. Oh, and last but not least... I have my Le Pouf cardigan. I have not worked on it maybe even since the last podcast. Um, I did steam it out a wee bit. Probably knit a little bit on it, but um, you can see here I've got my... So the top part has been steamed out, and I really like the fabric now. I was getting concerned that it was almost too dense and stiff but once I steamed it it became very supple and and really nice so I know with flat blocking it will just get even better but you can see I separated for sleeves and I've knit probably about inch and a half down so I'm gonna just keep on going with that um, and go from there. So the colors I'm using there, um, it's just a fade that I created here in the store. I'm using Life in the Long Grass, Tolomatan, and Ching yarns. Um, I believe we still have all of the colors except for Blue Finch, because Blue Finch always sells out, but more Blue Finch is on order. I'm getting like two dozen skeins of it because that stuff flies out the door and I personally love Blue Finch. It's gorgeous. Um, but we can come up with some beautiful, very similar fades or your own fade of your choosing if you want neutrals like mine, if you want some fun brights, or you want pink or you want blue, you want multicolored speckles, lavenders, whatever. We can set you up. Okay, that is all of my works in progress. So, well, it's not all. You know I have more than that, but that's all I'm working on right now at the moment. I have a couple other things in the works for um, other projects we'll talk about later. Of course, we are still doing our Portage Knit Along, um, and that's every Saturday here in the shop. We get together and hang out, and it's just been really fun the past couple Saturdays. We've had a huge, lively group, and so I really encourage you to come out on Sunday, or Sunday, on Saturday mornings if you can, whether you're knitting along on the Portage or not. There's a whole group that's not, and just coming and hanging out, and it's awesome. So bring your knitting or your crochet or your tatting or your small weaving 
whatever your craft is, come Saturday mornings and hang out as long as you can. It's a lot of fun. We usually have people here, of course, right at 10, hanging out all the way till three o'clock, usually sometimes four, even on Saturdays. So stay as long as you'd like. Um, it's a lot of fun. And then also Thursdays, we're getting a very large group of people. I know it's not technically a day that we have a knit night or a knit group, but Thursday afternoons, yeah, I'd say Thursday late morning, like by 11 o'clock through the lunch hour. Um, we usually have a, a nice group of ladies here. Um, of course, Saturdays we have ladies and men and you're all welcome, absolutely, 100%. Um, and then Friday afternoons, we also have been having a large group gathering, so, and Tuesdays. Literally, literally the only day that people don't sit and knit is Wednesdays, and it's not because I have told everyone don't come sit and knit, it's just nobody comes and sits and knits on Wednesdays, so I don't know. It's a great day that we can do inventory, um, but come hang out whenever you'd like. Just know on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, and definitely Saturday mornings, there will always be a fun group of people hanging out, either around the table, um, in the new space, or on the couple of couches. And we have plenty of chairs to bring out and add to the circle and just make it one big happy family. So come hang out with us. We are doing the Portage Knit Along still, and I am working up uh, a really fun idea of a summer knit along that will start most likely uh, mid-May, so stay tuned for that, but it will be using Plant Fibers yarns. So we are, as you know, I've been saying for a couple months now, April is the month that we will be getting in stock most of our um, plant-based yarns for the spring. So that means things like linens and cottons and silk linen blends and things like that. Um, so we have one, two, three, four. I believe it's four different bases that we're going to be bringing in. Um, one we've had before, very popular, it's a cotton linen blend, and then a, the rest of them are new or, well, one similar to one that we had for a while, and then they, um, the company that was doing it, the dyer, couldn't get the base anymore. Um, so, we're having a, blah, 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 blah. the plan is to have a summer knit along, details will be coming soon. But there will be a choice of, I believe we've narrowed it down to five patterns, two crochet, three knit, a mix of garments and shawls and accessories, and of all ability levels. So from beginner crochet to a little bit more advanced, beginner knitting to a little bit more advanced, of course garments, things like that, um, but all using the plant fibers. So you don't have to use, like we'll have this one would be really good in this one, but you could use this one or this one. Um, anyway, I digress. We have tons of fun patterns, tons, we have five, by some really awesome designers that are kind of new and up and coming. So they're patterns you may not have seen yet. Um, and we'll, we'll definitely get information out in April so that you can go ahead and get your yarn and, and make your decision on which of the patterns you want to do. Plus, if you're interested in crochet in April, we'll be having, is it April? Yeah, it's April, we'll be having a beginner crochet class. So if you want to, for sure, if you take the beginner crochet class, you'll be able to do the uh, crocheted shawl, for sure. Um, you might need to do a little, um, taking your your crochet to the next step or maybe coming in for more of a private lesson with um, me or Heather or, or Jan or someone um, for a little bit more one-on-one -on -one if you want to tackle the crocheted garment, but you totally could. And if you're familiar with most of the crochet terms and reading a crochet pattern, then you can totally do the crochet top um, for sure. Anyway, it's gonna be so awesome. Like I said, I'm gonna put out the details um, by April for sure. And with this knit along, so this is going to replace the shawl mania that we did for two years in a row. This is gonna be a new one and we're gonna have some awesome prizes at the end for all of our participants and finishers. 
and it's just going to be a great way for you to explore plant-based yarns and plant-based fibers um, and maybe knit with something you haven't knit before and have a really fun awesome garment or accessory that is really wearable and accessible here all year round for sure because I mean obviously we, there's a lot of time where we can wear wool and it's great and especially with air conditioning but sometimes it's nice to have really fun um, pieces that you can layer with or just lightweight and super breezy um, with like linens and cottons so it's gonna be so much fun um, and then of course more um, upcoming March 13th, 14th, and 15th. Now the 15th is a Sunday and we're normally not open on Sundays, but March 15th will be open noon to 5 p.m. But the 13th and 14th we will be having our anniversary celebration and we'll be having a trunk show with Savvy Skeins and it's going to be awesome. We're gonna have fun snacks all weekend and just have an awesome time. You can hang out, you can sit and knit, you can just come by. We're going to have specials on certain yarns. Excuse me. Um, and if you bring your bag that you got last year, um, so everyone with, I think, a $50 purchase or more last year got a squared plastic tote with our logo on it, but it had a bright blue, like an aqua blue trim on it. And it was a goof up from the place where I ordered my bags and they sent me the wrong kind. But if you got one of those bags, there's only a hundred of them floating around out there. If you got one of those bags, the bright blue trim, bring it back for 5% off your entire order over the anniversary weekend, excluding the trunk show. But you can get that. There's going to be some awesome prizes and uh, giveaways. Not really prizes. We're not going to do a drawing type thing, but we're going to have some awesome giveaway stuff um, and some new and exclusive things to the shop, which I can't tell you what they are yet, but you'll be very, very excited to see them. Um, and a custom colorway, too. Or two, or three, possibly. You'll have to see. Okay. And then, of course, we have our calendar um, on the website. All of our classes are listed on there. We have a lot of classes coming up. We have the beginner lace cro uh, crochet, beginner lace knitting class. Um, there's still a couple spots available. We are keeping that class small, but definitely if you are interested in lace or just reading charts and all that kind of stuff, you definitely want to participate in that. Um, we have, like I said, beginner crochet is coming up. Uh, we have our fit to flatter class. That is an awesome class taught by a lady um, from the Dallas area actually coming down to teach the Amy Herzog method of knitting garments that will fit you and flatter you and just it's awesome so if you are interested in garment making or maybe you've made a few garments and you're like it fits but it's not how I wanted it to fit and I don't know why it wasn't how I wanted it to fit maybe you got gauge maybe you didn't this is going to be the class for you it's $65 it's a two-hour lecture and you are going to be making measurements you're going to be making all these notes and it's just going to be awesome so you don't want to miss out that class then um, we have what else? We have the fit flatter. We have that. We have uh, well, the brioche class in March is sold out, but we will be having another one of those. Don't worry about that. Um, and we'll also have our beginner knitting classes as well every month. Um, I just forgot what the date is in March. So let me show you a couple new books that we got in. We haven't gotten, did we? I don't think we got new yarn. I don't think so. But I don't really know. We've gotten so many things in the past couple days. We might have. But anyway, I know for sure we got these. We have been restocked of Nomadic Knits, the Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana issue. This flew out the door the first time, so we got a second box in. So if you've been wanting a copy of it, now's the time to get it. It is loaded with great, great patterns. Also today, because today's Friday, Pom Pom is available. So this is the awesome Spring 2020 edition of Pom Pom Magazine. Hohi Locatelli, uh, Bronte Soigne, Cat Golden, Ocean Rose, Romy Hill, Lana Joy. So many amazing designers have um, put their 
their creative touch on it. And this is completely, um, I don't know if edited is the right word, but um, let me see if they have what the, but um, Oceans did um, the styling. Uh, yeah, Art Direction and Styling by Ocean Rose in this whole one. So it has this just ethereal, I mean, if you've never seen her um, Instagram feed, it's like this just soft and breezy and ethereal feed. It's just gorgeous. And you can definitely get that vibe throughout the whole magazine. I mean, just look at... Look at that. I don't want to bend the book too much, but um, it's just soft and airy. What's the recipe? I always like the recipe. Da, 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 da. That's cool. Meringues. Zephira meringues. Ooh. Strawberry and chocolate hazelnut. Yum. So, um, as always, there is, um, I say as always, yeah, there's a Ravelry download code included when you buy the Pom Pom Magazine, so you have all of the digital copies when you purchase it, so you can upload them to Knit Companion and things like that, or just have a spare copy if you want to print it out or uh, blow up a chart, things like that. Okay, we got these books in. <laughs> And this is literally the last one, so probably it will be gone shortly. You see what's written on here? Yes, this is the official Harry Potter Knitting Magic book. So this is a, the official book with Warner Brothers, the Harry Potter, the whole shebang. Official license, I should say. Um, so there are fun, like, behind-the-scenes stuff about the costuming um, up for the movies and pictures from the movies and things like that and then there are um, some patterns in the front that were um, true to screen replicas of the costumes and then there are inspired by um, apparel and then there are some decor pieces and there's little creatures there I have to show you this one this is quite possibly, I think, the cutest. Look at the little owl. How cute. I just think he's adorable. You can see on the front. He's there. But yeah, there's all sorts of fun things in there. So if you are a Harry Potter fan and you don't have this book yet, um, it was pre-released earlier. But um, yeah, this is literally my last copy. And it's a thick book. So it's also a fun little coffee table book if you just want to show your love of Harry Potter and all that stuff. And last but not least, they finally arrived from Finland. So this is the Lane Sock, 52 Weeks of Sock. Now, if you're thinking, why does it look funny? This is like a, like a sleeve cover. So it is removable um, if you don't want that, or you can kind of move it up, up the book. But this is the book, 52 Weeks of Sock. And yes, we got the English version. Don't worry about that. Um, stunning, stunning socks in here. Um, this also makes a beautiful coffee table book. I mean, it's thick. It's two and a half pound book. It's huge. So if you're looking for this, we do have it in stock. We actually have multiple copies. If you were one of the people that asked us to hold one for you, we do have that for you. And you can go ahead and come in and either pay for it and pick it up if you haven't already prepaid. I think that is a... Oh, no. This I want to show you, but we've sold out of over half of everything that we got already. So I don't have a ton of colors to show you. But we are now... well. I say we are now, we're almost out, but we have Pleistra bags. So, if you've never seen a Pleistra bag, this is the Pleistra backpack. I only have two left. This one in Dusty Petrol, and then another one in the Honey Brown, which 
is this color. So I have two of the backpacks left and that's it. And then we have my personal favorite, the crossbody bag. So it's this long handle, it's adjustable leather handle, and it's this awesome bag. And you can cinch up this drawstring and close up, close up the bag. It has this zipper pocket on the outside right here. And then you have, of course black wasn't the greatest, but you have pockets on the inside and everything else. So this is $87. I have it in black and the khaki green. This is a different bag, I'll show you later, but I have that crossbody bag in this color and then the Bordeaux. So those are the only, and the black, those are the only colors I have left now. Um, then this bag is the project pouch gorgeous bag really nice fully zippered you have grommets on the inside you have little things very well constructed um, super deep gusset on the bottom so it holds a lot it will even hold a sweater um, now not a huge huge sweater but it will hold a small sweater or certainly a t-top or tank top so these are 65 the backpacks are 155 I have these bags in this dusty petrol. I have it in black, Bordeaux, the khaki, and the honey brown. All of the other colors that we had, like the green and the honey brown and some of the other bags and just all the other colors have sold out already. So if you're looking for a Pleister bag, now's the time to grab it, snag it, um, because they are flying out. I'm, they're selling online, they're selling it here in the store because once you feel it, touch it, and see the quality of it, it's amazing. I mean, I'm shocked that the backpacks are only $155, really, because of the quality in it. Plus you get a bag inside, let me show you. So not only great backpack, you get this storage, but when you open it up, it has a laptop pouch, if you're wanting, but you also get this, a little project pouch. Now this is smaller than their other project pouch with the richlet, wristlet, but you get this free with your backpack in the matching color. So it's pretty awesome. Okay, so thank you so much for tuning in. I am just happy that you took the time to watch this and I hope that you will take the time to either check us out on social media or at the website um, or if you're in the area I hope you can make it into the shop one day soon we are open Tuesday through Saturday like I said we do have an exception coming up for our um, anniversary weekend we will also have extended hours for that. So the 13th, which is Friday, will be open at 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. So open a little bit later. Saturday, uh, we will be open at 9 a.m. through 6 p.m. So a little bit earlier in the morning and a little bit later. And then of course, Sunday, noon to 5 p.m. So I hope you come out on one of those days and have fun and celebrate with us for our second year in business here at the um, brick and mortar. Of course, we've been open almost three online, so it's hard to believe, but yep, it's crazy. And now we have the new expanded shop. We can fit so many more people in here. It's just awesome. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for just being an awesome supporter of us in the yarn shop, and we hope to see you soon. Bye.